So guys, we are almost there. Almost at $1. In fact, we were inches away from that $1 target. And looks like we can hit that at any moment now. Now remember guys, go back and watch our previous video. You will see that we mapped out this whole price bull case scenario and it looks like we've hit our first target to the t and second target and now smashing through the one dollar area right so again guys it shows you that technical analysis can work on the cryptocurrency market and remember what is technical analysis looking at previous data and using this to predict where price could go in the future so let's have a look. So from this uh, area, we said that price needed to break this resistance area in order to make its run uh, up to the, what I would consider target one of 74 cents. Why? Because we have historical price data here. And as you can see, it looks like we're gonna be smashing through our all time high level. And again, I'm not really surprised because again, this is actually a solid project as i always say a project with serious credibility behind it uh, one of the, the founder of cardono was actually a co-founder of ethereum believe it or not so if you didn't know that now you do so people are really pouring money behind this project now and i guess the race is between cardono and polkadot but again i believe that polkadot is in its own lane so i hate to compare the two so where do we go from here typically i would say that we can expect a pullback so let's just draw in a pullback line typically i would say we can expect a sharp pullback to maybe the 80 cent area and then we see the momentum shift to the upside kind of like what we saw here however i don't think we'll see that at this point i think we're going to see a sharp it's going a weekly time frame i believe we're going to see a sharp move to the upside i believe we're going to completely smash through this all-time high area pretty much in a straight line um, i don't see price pulling back currently although if you're not in this that's what you'd want to happen so you have two choices and remember guys this is not financial advice please make sure you always do your own research but if it was me personally and i really believed in this project and i feel like i've missed this low i missed this opportunity here all i would do is say to myself okay how much do we have until our next all-time high area 56 percent. so you have two choices do you wait for price to pull all the way back, which it may not do anytime soon? Or do you simply buy and ride this out? And again, that would simply depend on your time frame of when you plan to exit this position. If you're looking for a quick flip, then this probably isn't a good idea because we only have 58% to our all time time area where we can actually potentially see a pullback. Or if you're in this for the long term, then this is still good because you know you're still below all time high, which was uh, $1.39. Um, yeah, this is still still decent, 90 cents. You get a 58% discount on your all time high area. So at least you got a better entry than the guys did in 2017. Let's put it that way. So with that being said, our next price target is $1.39. And then stay tuned, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe because once we hit that target area, I'm going to show you guys the next target area. And I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna map out how we can utilize um, a Fibonacci retracement tool in order to predict where price will go once we've broken out of our histor historical, so we put that in, target sorry next target area so i put that in for you guys i'm going to show you how you can use fibonacci retracement tool or fib extension to predict where price will go and fundamental data where price could go after our central all-time high areas have been hit and with that being said as always seize the day wishing you all